Hi, I'm Jake with Arrow Building, and today we're at our Prairie Modern Project. This is a house that our firm is building with Steve Basic. It's Steve Basic Architects out of Reading, Massachusetts. And I wanted to talk about a couple small features in this house. I want to talk about windows, and I want to talk about advanced framing. And the reason I'm talking about them together is because they're part of the same system. They're part of our wall assembly. So if you look at a traditional framed house, 2x4, 2x6 walls, the studs are spaced 16 inches on the center. Those studs and the windows, the, a, a normal calculation for a ranch style home like this, means that the fluffy stuff or the insulation makes up about 60% of the wall assembly. So you have 15 to 20% of the wall is glazing and then 60% say is your insulation and the rest of that is wood. And wood has a really bad R value, and it allows transfer of heat from inside to out, thermal bridging. Uh, so one of the things that we can do is we can go to two photon centers and upscale our framing numbers. So they call it advanced framing. Uh, it's code allowed. It's perfectly stable. Uh, you would, we could make the argument that two photon center is way too much work for the walls. But just by going from a 16 inch on center to a 24 inch on center, we've now increased our cavity and our fluffy stuff to 75% of the wall. Now, it's only like a one, an R1 jump in R value of the wall from on a two by six wall, say from a cumulative, when you count glazing, framing, and insulation, that R6, or that 16 inch on center wall is somewhere in the range of like an R9 cumulative when you add them all together. But by making that jump to 24 inches on center, you've gone to an R10. So you got an R1 bump by paying for less lumber, paying to put up less lumber, and spending a little bit money, a little bit more money on the cheap insulation. So you made a, a jump in R value that way. And the other aspects for advanced framing for us, uh, while we're still talking about framing, we slope our window sills so that if the window ever leaks, all the water runs outside. We properly size our headers so that we're not stuffing a whole bunch of lumber on top of the windows that we don't need. So we use a laminated veneer lumber, an LVL, across our windows. It gives us the maximum R value above it. Uh, we also, on our corners, we have, uh, it would be called a, a California corner traditionally, but instead of even using a stud for a nail or here, we use a piece of Advantech that's screwed in place. So we get three quarters of an inch more insulation in our corners. So simple things like that that allow us to be more effective, pay for less lumber, pay someone to install less lumber, and get a higher R value of the wall. Now that bump of R1 is really minor, but when you look at windows, windows are absolutely the worst part of your wall assembly. It's a hole in the wall that we're expecting this piece of glass to do the same as this two bay wall with insulation on the outside. And so this is a much better place to spend money rather than tons and tons and tons of insulation here. But if you're gonna go to advanced framing, proportionate is what makes sense. It, it makes sense to go to a triple glazed window. So these are from Sierra Pacific. They are a U factor of 0.23 or 0.22. That's substantially better than we can get out of a double glazed window. And yeah, we paid a little bit of a premium, but not an incredible difference for the value that we're gonna get out of. So making that upgrade from a U factor of 0.3 to a U factor of 0.23 with the triple glazed windows, we get an R value bump of like one and a half out of our windows. Well, the window's 20% of the wall, so cumulatively, we get a R3 bump in the entire wall value. So, proportionate. If we're going to a two bay wall, we're going to a triple glazed window. If we're doing a two by four wall, it doesn't make any sense to put a triple glazed window. So, everything steps with everything else. It all works together. Spray foam, the air sealing, the insulation, the windows, the framing, it all becomes one system to make every system inside the house operate more efficiently. Stay tuned for more from the Prairie House with Arrow Building. I'm Jake. Don't forget to like and subscribe.